So you make a cold call and the seller doesn't pick up. What do you do? Most of us just hang up and we move on, hoping that we can catch them on the next time if we actually follow up. But we're finding out that that's a missed opportunity. Leaving a voicemail can make a huge difference. It shows initiative, persistence, and professionalism. It's your chance to stand out and make a memorable impression. Sellers are busy, just like we are, and a well-crafted voicemail can catch their attention and get them curious enough to call us back. Here's the script that's been a game changer for us. Use this script word for word. Hi, this is Misty with Robert Slack Real Estate here in San Antonio. I was hoping to catch up with you about your house on Banana Street. I'm going to send you an email now about why I'm calling. Give me a ring back as soon as you can. 830-396-4291. The follow-up email is crucial. As soon as you leave the voicemail, load up an email with as many recent sales of homes in their area as you can find. This shows that you've done your homework and it provides value right off the bat. In the email, briefly mention that you called and you also left them a voicemail. They will connect the dots. Explain why you're reaching out. Maybe you have buyers interested in the area or you see a trend in the market that they should know about. This added information makes you look professional and well-prepared, increasing the chances that they'll get back to you. Over time, we've seen more callbacks and positive responses using this method. It's all about making that initial connection and building trust from the get-go. If you ever need more help with your prospecting, let's talk. I believe in sharing winning tips regardless of what team you're on. I'm here to help, and if you win, I win. Feel free to reach out if you have any questions or if you want more tips on improving your calling strategies. Until next time, happy prospecting!